Welcome to the Prices Pearl Life with me, Katrina. On my channel, you will find vlogs and shopping hauls. There's nothing like a great tablescape. And of course, there are home decor, home decor tips inside and outside of your beautiful home. I also offer cleaning and cooking motivation. Did I just say cooking motivation? In this video, I have self-rising flour, buttermilk, and butter. Thanks for stopping on today's video. And if you're new here, welcome. And to my subscribers, welcome back. And one big hug from me to you. In today's video, you read it right, it's only three ingredients. Self-rising flour, buttermilk, and butter. We all know butter makes everything much better. This is a requested video from a few of my subscribers. I saw them in person and they said, can you make biscuits? And I said, sure, I'll make that video just for you. I love making biscuits and I've been cooking since I was eight years old. Don't ask me how old I am now, but just know it's many moons ago. Biscuits are something that I love when my mom and her sisters gather together and they often talk about the oldest sister in the house getting up and cooking biscuits on a daily basis. I know that's something that we have lost now in families, but it's something that I absolutely love. I love the fact that they share these memories and these memories are shared around food. I know the holidays are coming up and I want you to remember this holiday, this Thanksgiving, make sure you're spending it with family and friends that you truly love because you never know. That's just my little speech for today. But now to the biscuit making portion of the big, to the biscuit. Three ingredients. And it's simple to remember if you just say two, one, one. Two cups of self-rising flour. one stick of butter. Make sure your butter is ice cold. I'm going to use a box grater and grate my butter right into my flour. Other options include cutting it into cubes or putting it in a food processor and pulsing it because you want a crumb-like effect when your butter and flour are mixed together. I'm using two forks to coat all of my butter with flour to get my crumb-like effect. The less I use my hands, the colder my butter will remain and the flakier my biscuits will become. You want to make what is called a well, which is a simple opening in the middle of your flour. Add your one cup of buttermilk with a spatula we're going to gently and softly incorporate our buttermilk with our flour and butter. Make sure not to over mix your dough. You don't want a dry biscuit. This is what you're looking for, a nice wet Dough. On your surface, make sure you flour your surface well, but don't over flour. Flour your hands and turn out that dough. 
Now, I'm getting every bit of my dough out. My house, my mama said, we don't throw away food. Now, ladies and gents, we're going to pat out, roll out, fold out this dough. Again, the less you touch it, the less you move it around, the flakier your biscuits will become. Now, I rolled mine out. Video, ah, uh, well, we missed that footage, but here we go. Placing it in a buttered dish, 450 degrees for 10 to 14 minutes. And we have Johnson Ranch Biscuits. about to melt in my mouth. There's jelly and jam, but today I'm going with a slow pour of syrup. Give me a big thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a share and give me a comment. Most of all, make sure you are subscribed to The Prices Pearl Life. of the Prices Pearl Life. And until my next video, remember you are absolutely priceless.